Welcome to Tech Brother the Damir. Today we are going to explore another option in the report wizard. So we, we are going to create a tabular report by using a page and details in the group option by using report wizard. So what does that mean? I'm going to show you a report and that, that will make you understand real quick. So now if I have a report here and I want to have a region on each of the page so if you see here Asia is my region for the and then uh, we are getting data only for Asia region uh, in this uh, page next uh, if I click on the next page I will have Europe region and then I will have data for only Europe and uh, then uh, what we want to do we want to have a North America region uh, and uh, the data will be for a uh, North America customers uh, here so this is a very basic uh, uh, reports and it is very commonly used report when you want to have uh, or divide the data according to some uh, field uh, and only want to have a uh, data per page uh, on uh, depending on that uh, value now if you will take a look uh, from our table uh, we have a region here so that's what we wanted to use here by using the region uh, we want to split uh, on the data on each of the page once we export this uh, report uh, so from SSRS we can go ahead and save this report to any format so we have XML we have CSV TIFF PDF M HTML and Excel and Word so here I have saved this report as Excel how this report will look like in Excel so if I will open an Excel and in the Excel you will see each of the page what we were seeing in the report on the in the preview it is a put on each of the separate sheet so this is also very basic requirement when people say oh okay we want to have data by page and when we export that should be going to the per sheet so Asia for Asia region we have this data and that this is common in sheet one then there would be for second let's go to the sheet two we have Europe data and then we have North America data so at one point I will export or create a report where we will also have the sheet names coming from the page we will have one demo but that's going to be little um, advanced level we will get to there so this is basic report maybe it is very complicated report to you when it comes and somebody say okay this is how we want to create a report okay the it should be divided by the region on each of the page and we, when we export it it should have a own data per sheet so this is very simple report by creating uh, in the SSRS and we can use the report wizard to do that we don't have to create from ba basics but this can be done by basic uh, from empty report as well so I'm going to show you that in the in few videos now as we are in the report solution what we can do we can go ahead and initiate wizard from here so go to the reports tab here right click here add new report so now it is a starting a report wizard so we hit next and here we have to tell which data source to use as our data is coming from the sales so we can uh, have uh, use that one so let me go back here we have a shared data source already created here DS sales and if you don't have it you can create a new one so no big deal you have to provide the data source name here and then edit and server name and database that will create your data source you can make that one as a uh, shared data source as well so uh, watch my previous video where we have created shared data sources and mm, shared data sets and all those kind of things uh, now I'm going to use this uh, data source as it is already existing and hit uh, next now I will be providing the query so I have written my query in your case uh, you might have query with the inner joins and outer join left joins and data will be coming from maybe 20 tables in my case I have put everything in one table I put it in one table reason because I don't want to spend time here in writing query and make you understand okay this is a how the data is coming from this table so I have a data here it makes sense so you can see the records uh, and uh, we, we are learning reporting services here not the t-sql but in your case you might be using store procedure or a complicated select query and getting the data from multiple tables so in my case I'm just gonna copy this whole thing and then paste it here so my query is ready hit next 
now still we are going with the tabular so it is a table that is created if you see here but uh, on each of the page uh, we want that uh, region name and the data on that page should be split according to the region so now here if you see that choose how to group the data in the table so on the page level if you see this uh, small uh, um, portions here this shows heading and uh, this is the very first one is the page the next one is the group and then we have a detail so that's how it is uh, presented here in this case we are going to use only the region in the page and then everything should go in the detail so that's how our report should look like we are not using a group there would be another video I'm going to make on the group so now we go to detail sorry click here on the column and then add to the detail so we are going to add everything to the detail next up uh, what we are going to have here click next select the uh, format or style of your report let's uh, go with the forest in this case and next uh, and here we will be saying uh, tabular sorry page detail report now we will go ahead and preview the report right now this is done and as you can see that Asia was our one region and that data is coming first so we have all the records and Najaf Ali is from Pakistan and the rest of Indian uh, records or customers uh, that we have and this is uh, for the Asia region if we go to the next one we have some customers from the France and Germany and uh, that's what you can see right here and the last one will be North America so here you see my name Amir Shahzad he's from North America he had been selling TV or buying TVs so here you will see the region uh, North America customers only now this report looks great right but there are some things we need to do we have a uh, the columns is splitting into two two lines we have to fix that we can go here in the design and once you are in the design you will be using a move a little bit these columns for the tablets and here and also if you see a few things the sold data is not coming in the correct format let's preview the report one more time and we can see that the date is coming with the timer and we know that this is not correct information we have only the data here we will go back and then fix that so go to design and the right click on this here first click it here on the sold date then right click go to te uh, text box properties and go to the number and the, you will see okay select the date in the category because it's a date column and then select the format you want to use in my case I want to use the last one that's the United States okay hit okay go back to the sorry preview now we end this preview and we can see that it is a uh, common correct the last thing let's go and uh, save this report uh, so I can show you in the Excel how it will look like uh, so here in the export go to Excel and then uh, we we are okay with the name it took the name automatically whatever the report name was that's what it has taken and it is the uh, same in uh, the report in the desktop SSRS projects now save it let's go to that folder and here is the report let's open it so you can see that uh, we have a tableau page detailed report uh, this is Asia region this are all the records coming from uh, Pakistan and India that's in Asia so next part is uh, we have uh, sheet 2 that's Europe and we have France and Germany and uh, all those records are coming for those customer and next uh, we have uh, the North America that's the U countries uh, USA and uh, these are the records uh, we are we have it now this looks great but uh, we are not going to create this Excel and send to the users uh, maybe new data will be entered uh, in this table and uh, that should refresh the report automatically we should uh, deploy this report uh, to the reporting server server and uh, then a user can access uh, from there so now let me go back uh, to the report server let me show you here is my report server now what we want to do we want to deploy this report to the sale folder let's provide the, uh, deploy this to the sales folder and here we have the data source already existing there so DS sales that's shared and we are fine let's go back here now how you will be doing it you will be clicking here on the project go to properties and here you will provide all the, that information let's say if you are not interested to deploy this report into sale folder you can go ahead and say 
sale detail. So that's where the uh, report will be deployed. In the data sources, fine. I will just keep one data source folder always because that's where all the data sources should be. It is easy to maintain. Next, uh, this is the report server name that we have to provide. The report server name. Uh, this is my report server name. You say Amir um, PC backslash reporting server. So here you have reports. Uh, this is the interface uh, to see the reports and all that. Uh, here you will have uh, this interface uh, that shows you directories and how uh, the reports are there and all those kind of things. Uh, so from report server, you have to provide the report server link there. So copy it, go back to the project uh, and here double click and paste it. Uh, now apply, hit OK. Let's go and deploy. Right click on the project and deploy. If I will deploy now, it will deploy everything. So I am interested to deploy only tabular page detailed report. So I'm going to right click here on the report itself and say deploy. Now you can see that it did not deploy the data sources and all that because I have a click on the tabular page detail report only. So let's go to the reporting server and here in the report. Uh, server let's say we go to the uh, remember we have created a new folder we call it a sale detail so we, let's refresh here and once we refresh we see the sale detail folder and now we see tabular page detail report so now this is how our report will be looking like so we have Asia on the first page and then we click on next page we see Europe and the, on the next page we'll see North America so this uh, report is really good report that's uh, I like these reports uh, when uh, data is split uh, by using some uh, region or maybe department and all that uh, it's easy to see for the users uh, and they can flip uh, from one page to another one and take a look uh. so thanks very much for watching this video and uh, we are gonna make another video by using wizard where we'll use uh, the group option as well